My Mac Podcast 950. So we're back. And welcome, everyone, to the MyMac.com podcast. This is number 950, which is completely and utterly apropos of nothing, because it doesn't really matter. However, what does matter is that with the release of Mac OS Sonoma, there are certain things to remember to do before, before jumping to that new operating system, chief among them is making sure that you have a complete backup that you can revert to in case things go horribly, horribly wrong as they, as they can, but will they probably not? Can they? Oh, most certainly. And Gaz, how are you today? It has been so long since you and I have spoken in this manner. Sorry, who are you? (laughs) You are. (laughs) Why? Why? Why am I sitting here talking to you? I I, I bullied I... you into it. That's exactly ah, what happened. Oh right. I called okay, and so called I... and called and, and you okay. you got on to tell me to go F off and leave you alone. <laughs> and then you remembered that we were doing a podcast. Right. Yes. And I suddenly remember I know this guy. Yeah. Guy. I know yeah. this guy guy. Yeah. And I, I, I got myself guy. all cleaned up, as I told you, you earlier. Yeah. You d- thanks for that. Yes. Don't yes. have to go into all of the Reasons. Well, I think that could leave a lot of people thinking exactly how did he get all cleaned up? But uh, we'll leave it there and let yeah. let their imaginations wander the big blue sky of yes, imagination. Yes. Yeah. Sky, yeah. which rhymes with yeah. something, but we won't say what it is. Pie. Anyway, pie. Oh, I love pie. Pie, yes. I'm a yeah, big like fan pie, of pie. Too. Anyway, it has been some time. So how are you? Have you been doing anything? And um, yeah, anything else that you'd like to tell me? Well, as it turns out, we shared it's just, an activity. It's just me. It's just me that you're talking to. There's no one else listening. So you can, no tell, one else you, can, you can tell me all your secrets. if you. <laughs> well, until it goes out live. <laughs> um, we actually shared an activity last weekend, but not in the exact same place. And when we tell you what the activity is, Mm. you'll understand why. So um, we were actually going to do a podcast last weekend, uh, but something came up that uh, is completely unavoidable for both of us and has nothing whatsoever to do with us in that someone important to us has passed away and we attended a memorial service, but not in the same place. I don't even know where I'm going with this, Gaz. Help me. Well, yeah, because I'm a bit confused now because it could have been, if you meant last weekend, you meant not this weekend, but the weekend before, in which case it was the weekend before that that I actually attended a funeral. Why I'm pointing oh. behind my head to to indicate going back a couple of weeks, I don't going know. Going back in time. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, it was the weekend before. For, for last weekend. Time. Yeah, last weekend, which is the when the funeral that you went to, I was actually on holiday, so I couldn't have done one last week. Okay, okay. so we weren't sharing an activity in two different places. <laughs> it sounds like we weren't. Maybe well, we thought we were. I guess then that whole little bit of the show has just gone all caterwonky. <laughs> no, I think it's perfectly adequate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and... And it can is the 950th say, I, show. It is 950, yes. And that's quite a big number, isn't it? We're still going forward, bit by bit, bit by bit. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. I, bit I, by bit, you I, see. I still wonder if we will make it to 1,000. Because that's that's like... If it's we like go a by year the schedule away, that we've had like for a, like the last month... It's like a year month, away, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, more. Yeah. More. We, we we, well, by, if you go by the schedule we did in the last month, that's like two years away. Yeah, at least, <laughs> at least two years. Um, but hopefully we will get back on track and not, and not screw things up as badly as we normally. Well, we do. haven't screwed anything up. We've just life has just Give got in time. the way. It's been it does. It's just it really, really has. busy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, um, so 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 have you been busy other than the, the memorial service? Which well, the memorial like service took, and then the weekend like before took... that, there was a big storm that came through that I said I wasn't going to mention, but I just did. And Which storm was that, by the way? It was it was a um, it was a hurricane that kind of churned up the Atlantic coast and didn't hit anything until it 
like the the outer bands of it kind of flipped in a little bit and it, it it wasn't really that bad but of course the news people being the way they are everything has to be in complete and utter panic mode oh, yes, that's yeah, the only way they yeah, can keep you yeah, watching yeah. So they couldn't say, well, there's going to be a little wind, there's going to be a little rain, but you'll be fine. No, it's like, my God, man, have all of your preparations ready. Make sure you have candles and flashlights and extra water and food and all of this stuff that you're not going to need because it's really not that big a deal. And write your will. Yeah, yeah, write your will. (laughs) So that guy can go to your memorial service the next weekend. Correct. Correct. There we go. Yes. How how have yeah. you been? How was your uh, time off last weekend? Ve- t- ve- Sorry, well, last weekend. La- last weekend, the weekend last before. Weekend. Okay, so oh, I, I go I've been hand. doing I've been doing quite a lot because I think since we last podded, I may have informed everybody that I was ordering a stainless steel Apple Watch eight, yes. rather than going for a brand new Apple Watch nine. That has arrived, and I'm really really loving it i love the weight of it it's just it looks fabulous um i'm liking the slightly bigger screen that i had compared to my se watch that i had Mm. um because it wraps around the the se is what 42 millimeter yeah this is a this is 41 i think they are aren't they 41 okay and this is the same size but the screen itself wraps slightly around the you know, oh, they've made okay. the screen slightly bigger in comparison. So that's really good. I'm just, I just like it. I just like it so much more. So I went for the refurb stainless steel, which was basically a similar price to me going and getting an aluminium one um, yeah. for version nine. Um, so that's really good. That came, everything trans uh, transferred over. No problems there. Great. The iPhone arrived. So that was good. I got my iPhone 15. I didn't go for a, a pro or pro max i i've decided that the pro max would be the one that i'd want because of the better cameras sure and i thought that the cameras on this one i kind of discussed you know i think on that show again also about probably seeing how i can deal with the the cameras and the higher megapixels that i get on this camera compared to my 13 um and so far i'm not sure i'm not sure whether i've made the right choice hands up there you see quite happy well, to it been two weeks it's been two weeks yeah yeah oh, so okay. and so i'm taking a few i've it. taken a few images and i'm not i'm not too sure whether i should really have done at least stuck with the pro which has obviously got the three time zoom on it it's got the three three lenses on but so far you know fine i, I need to sit and mess with the uh, the images a little bit more before i really take that decision uh, to the nth degree but i'm i'm like in the phone um and that then kicks in the process of you know you know what normally happens my phone gets to, it goes down to the next person well that's right. already transferred it's gone to my daughter who's got it just in time from her iphone 10x 10r Ooh. 10xr can't remember now old um, old phone old old phone She's yeah. loving it because they are going to New Zealand for six weeks at the end oh. of this month. So she's, you know, she's 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 loving the fact that she's now got this new phone and it's got the, the camera on it. They're taking, obviously, a DSLR as well. But sure, I would. it's always useful having a, a really cracking little camera on your phone because it's normally the one you've got with you, of course. Yeah, and I am completely and utterly not jealous that they're going to New Zealand. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, nor we. Um. Also, I, the thing snarl, is, going back to, I didn't, I didn't get to start transferring my old iPhone um, until the Saturday after the Friday when I'd received it. Now it normally goes through without a hitch, guy. Um, I mean, I'd already got my Apple uh, Watch Eight, um, and I'm loving it, as I said, and that went mm-hmm. and the move from that went through fine. If anybody's watching this actually on video, by the way, you may see me glance down occasionally. It's because. We've got the Bills versus the Jaguars game in Tottenham yeah. Hotspur Stadium in London. And I've just got oh, what's the score? running here. The score is still 11-7, and we're now in the fourth. Oh, spoilers. Just... Spoilers, Gaz. <laughs> yeah, spoilers, Tomorrow, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not the final score, though. That's only a no. partial spoiler. Yeah. Um, but I had issues with the phone guy. It took several attempts before it finally decided that, yes, I was who I said I was, 
And yes, that I'd passed all the authorization checks, which seemed to, mm. it kept asking me to, you know, shall we send a text to this number? Yes, no text arrived. Shall we confirm on another device? Yes, but no authorization came through. And it took three or four attempts before that actually finally kicked in. But, you know, I was, but before, prior, I was but prior to, to that, back and forth show. And right. There was somebody on that show from the last episode that was having a similar problem. Oh, right. I thought I thought they'd all gone through fine. Any, maybe not, maybe not. Perhaps I've not listened to it yet. Um, well, I then I tried three or four times for that to go through. But what was concerning was before it had faltered, if let's use that word. Okay. I'd already moved my SIM across because it had said there's a SIM on the Ooh. other phone. Do you want to move that across? So I'd moved that across, but then it went into. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to carry on. We're not going to carry on. I'm thinking, so hang on a minute. You'd move the eSIM part across. Um, and this was a, a mistake, which I didn't realize. I didn't have it on eSIM. I thought that the both phones oh. were on dual eSIM. Um, but apparently I've got one hard uh, SIM and one eSIM. And it had moved over the hard SIM that I'd got on my old phone to become an eSIM on my new phone. Now that's fine. That that process works fine, but I've still got two SIMs or two numbers on the phone, so I couldn't then it wouldn't then allow me move the old the, and this was a later issue. I then couldn't move my eSIM number on my old phone across to my new phone because it wouldn't allow me to have two eSIMs, e-SIMs. on yeah. the new phone. But that was a later issue which I came across. So I'm now going to try and get through the the phone to you know auth- authorize me and say it's me so it can start transferring the apps. And I'm thinking, what's happened to my number? I'm going to have a right nightmare here having to try and ring my uh, service provider. Um, but actually, when it finally kicked in and says, ah, yes, you are who you are. Yes, we'll start the transfer. And things started kicking in and going. I saw that the, the the phone had picked up my number, so at least it had stored somewhere in memory that that process was still good. <sighs> okay, so that's that. So I got to that point, and then a few, like a day or so, I settled down. A day or so later, I then went through the process of speaking to E E E because I'm with E E over here. E E is my um uh, uh I'm contract is with. They um, they said, right, yeah, we're going to need you to send you a hard SIM, you know, a, a physical SIM for yeah. your other number now. So I've I've actually got a physical so, SIM. Wait, so you got two numbers phones. with E? E, E? E, E, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same numbers okay. with, yeah, both. both so, I've got but two now numbers. they're going to swap them so that one is no, no, the one that no, used to be. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay. So I've got two numbers with E, E. One used to be on a physical SIM that transferred onto an eSIM on the new phone, which I right. that that was partially my mistake because I think I hadn't realised that that was the physical it's SIM in my phone. But then what they then said was, well, your old phone has got the other number, which was an eSIM number, um, but we're going to have to send you the physical SIM for that to send it out to you so you can do it. So, and they said that's going to take seven days. And I'm thinking, what? Anyway, it came the next day. So it didn't take seven yeah. days at all. It came the next day and I got it in and sorted that out. Okay, but they did swap mean, then. They did swap. Yeah, okay. they swapped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they basically cancelled the old process that sat, sat in the, their back end. They, the guy, the first guy that I spoke to, actually, he was a newbie. He was an absolute newbie. And I could tell as soon as I started talking to him, I thought, Problem. this is going to be a long yeah. conversation. And it was a long conversation with him. And he then went away and he said, oh, no, no, actually, um, you can't have that old SIM, that SIM that you haven't yet transferred, um, because it's on a contract which needs updating and you can't have it. Um, And I went, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. But, you know, he said, well, and he went away and he came back and he said, no, you can have it. But I said, well, can I or can't I? Can you put me through to somebody who actually who knows I'm going to need to I'm going to need you put you to put you through to retentions. I went, "What? what I, you've got me already. You don't need to retain me. I'm already Anyway, 
he put me through to retentions. And I got a guy. Interestingly, I had a really long conversation with this guy who used to be an Apple fan, moved to a new Samsung flip phone, who <laughs> hates it. Yeah. He hates it. He says, the Do thing you know is anybody that has one that, that is enjoying the experience no 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 not at all he he, he just said that the thing is falling apart anyway he was then talking about my phone and what i'd got and he was talking about him getting one and changing contracts put that to one side he knew his stuff okay, and he said good. yeah I'll, he was the one that said i'll send out the physical sim for your old number just pop it in it'll click up no worries don't worry about it it'll all be sorted uh but it will take seven days and he was he was he was over egging my disappointment because obviously my expectation is now, oh, yeah, brilliant. It only took a day. Super. Yeah. Um, anyway, he also then said, do you want me to look at your contracts? I said, well, not really, not unless we really have to. And he said, well, we don't have to, but. <coughs> oh, you okay? <coughs> yeah, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, I mean, which is nice. Um, <laughs> Ribbit. So we went through all my contracts and I've actually got all of my contracts reduced. Yeah. Nice. Double, double win. So that actually came out in the end as quite good. Yeah. But then, but then, uh -oh. Guy, I then moved over and upgraded to, I upgraded my Mac. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you nearly spat that out then, didn't you? I know. I, I was drinking water at the same yeah. time. I didn't know where you were going. <laughs> I upgraded my Mac to Sonoma. So far, absolutely everything's been yeah. tickety-boo. Apart from one thing, and I'm going to come to that in a minute. Well, not in a minute, a little bit later with my tip. This is going to come a tip later about an issue that I had. Okay. But the biggest issue I did have was I went into system settings because it had put a wallpaper. So my wallpaper is a load of pictures. I've got a, um, uh, a favorite folder or album, which I use, and that, that just rotates, rotates all of those images yeah. through and through sure. in the background. And it also puts those pictures on as the desktop when I'm signing in. So I never sign into my computer without having to sign in physically or use my watch. And because obviously my wife may want to sign in sometimes because there's multiple sure. users on there. But when I tried to find in the desktop area, how to put it back onto the images. And I think the issue was that photos had to update as well. So Ooh, photos okay. hadn't updated, so it hadn't picked up my previous settings and, and went through all that process. So I basically then was looking for this option for me to click an album, and it's got a little drop down. I don't know I'm going to be able to find it quick enough while we while we were talking, but there was a little um, uh, drop down um, desktop. Let's see if I can see desktop. Doing a quick search, change the wallpaper. Yes. So in, when you go into wallpaper at the top, it says add photo. Well, I didn't want to add a photo because that would just add a photo to collection. And then it says add folder or album. And actually that meant the same thing. However, I was reading it as, oh, it wants me to add the album that I want to use as my desktop images. And that wasn't the option because it basically it just, choose a load of rubbish really it was just i didn't know yeah, it was what, choose what it the was defaults were yeah and it was it was struggling with with photos anyway eventually i scrolled down and down and down and down and suddenly found a list of the images that i would normally use as my background and thought, right, why didn't you just put that at the top or give me that option of do I want Or why to didn't it just import it when you switched over to Sonoma? Well, it should have, I think it should have kept the same settings. Yeah, and, exactly. Although, and then waited until it had updated photos or told me you need to update photos so that we can then use those images to do on your desktop. Well, you, you know, here's, here's the crazy thing, Gaz, is they're just JPEGs or they're going to be HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whichever. Yeah. It's yeah. not like, it's not like iPhoto has, or iPhoto, oh my God. It's not like Photos <laughs> has like 
some special little magic that says, oh, well, you can't use you can't use these because they're these, not no. regular images. They're special. It's like, no, they're not. They're just flipping JPEGs or HPEGs. And just I have them selected so that I can use them on my desktop. Why is this a big deal? Apparently it is. Apparently it is. A Apparently anyway, it is. I got that sorted. That's fine. Randy, and as Randy, I said, Randy. no other no other issues apart from a tip that I'm going to speak about. Um, I'm not using desktop widgets yet. Widget Weekly? Are we got it's we could do something. Oh, widget, dashboard widgets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> flashback. Yeah, flashback. Um, and the only other issue I've got with the phone, so moving back to the phone, moving off right. of my Mac. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, oh sorry, I, I should slap myself there. Moving from my Mac, not off of because i always scream at the telly when or podcast when i hear that um there was a there's a bit of an issue with my usb old standard you know i think is it usb a the old standard you know the big one um, yeah that's usb a usb a to usb c um i've got a bit of an issue with the cable in um carplay because what used to happen is i'd get in the car i'd plug my usb a to lightning iPhone mm -hmm. 13 in before I did anything else. Turn the car on, blah, 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 get get going. Apple AirPlay would then come yeah. up and fine, fine. Now, if I do that, it goes searching, 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 searching. So you I have, have to, kind of and this, cable. so once I've once, no, hang on. Well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Okay. So, and this is, this is after I've got in, plugged my phone in, started the car, and expecting it to come up, searching, 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 searching. So I pull the phone out of the cable, push it back in, and it goes, bing, ping, and appears. I've got no idea, no idea whether there's a communication that error that's good. Yes, yes, at the moment, yes. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to play and see if I can get that sorted. That's been happening because obviously when I got yeah. the phone, we then went away. So I've not really had time to sit and, and, and get it sorted. Try a different cable. <clears throat> yeah. That, well, no, I tried a different cable and it that wasn't compatible with my phone at all. <laughs> it was it was a USB-A to USB-C cable, but it went, uh, -uh. <laughs> That's probably a power cable as compared to a data cable. Probably. You know, probably. why can't they just sell one kind of USB-C cable and if it means that it's not going to go quite as fast fine but just have it do both data and power without this well it does this but it does this better and it's like no just make it work there yes. was a reason why everybody wanted Apple to switch to USB-C because it's a more ubiquitous kind of cable everybody has it the no, problem is the USB I disagree. standard I disagree. is so screwed up. I disagree. I disagree. Oh. I th we have got a situation at the moment where people have got micro USB, mini USB. Okay, I'm yeah, just talking I'm, about USB-C. No, 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 but hang on a minute. So you've got micro, yeah, but yes, but everybody, the population have mm -hmm. still got cables and devices which use mini uh, USB, sure. micro USB, USB um, A, yeah, and USB, you know, the little square ones. Yeah, the, the ones it, for printers. And yeah, the, the ones for printers. There are some devices that take that. These Your microphone uses, uses one My of microphone those. uses that. Yeah. Um, and and equally, my the, the only USB connectors out of my devices that I've got that I could charge from are sneaked on the back of this Mac Mini that I've got or sneaked around the back of this screen that I've got. So... I've basically now gone, oh, which cable do I need? So what they've done is create a situation where now I'm having to carry loads more adapters and cables around to make well, sure I've that, got the right that capability. Change. That will change. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, it'll change in about three or four years, possibly five years. We'll still be faffing about like this. <laughs> oh, How are you going? I tell you, I got, <laughs> here we are, 35 minutes into the show. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but on my birthday, I bought myself a iPad pro, a new 12.9 inch iPad pro. Mm -hmm. And what I had, which was also an iPad pro was the 2018 model. So now I have an M one iPad pro 
And I really, really like it. And the weird thing, not I guess it's not so weird. I'm kind of happy about it is the smart keyboard, the one that just kind of attaches magnetically, still works with it. So I didn't have to buy, and that's like 350 bucks. So I'm glad I didn't have to buy another one of those. However, when I did one, and this is something we're going to kind of go over in, in the next part of the show, is one of the ways that you can do all of this information switchover with all of your various devices is to have iCloud backups. So before I left for the Apple store to make sure, you know, to, to pick up this new iPad Pro, I did a complete iPad backup on my Mac, physically connected, not just through, you know, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, did a full backup. So when I got to the Apple store and I've got a cellular cellular model, took out the, the, uh, the SIM card, put it in the new one, which recognized it immediately. I couldn't use it yet because, and I didn't want to use it yet because I didn't have any of my information on it at that point brought it back home, connected it up to my Mac with a cable, and then walked away. And once it did like one or two little, are you sure, are you sure, it just transferred everything over and I didn't have any problem. So that part of it is fine. I am still on a 13. My watch is still- it's good phone. It's good phone. 13 is a good phone. phone. And it's the regular one. It's not the, it's not the pro. Yeah. I actually <laughs> thought about, I thought about getting- uh, a 15 or a 15 pro, but it was like, you know, it, it, it was, it was the kind of thing where do I really need it? Did, did I need to no. update? No, no. Uh, other than having USB C and having to carry a crap bunch more cables, I just didn't see the point. <laughs> thanks. No, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. So at least for <laughs> this year, I'm going to stick with uh, the 13. The battery life is still wonderful. Um, the seven, it was a replacement for the four that I had that I cracked the screen. So I'm, I'm pretty happy on that front, but I have to confess one thing. Uh oh, I am becoming sorely tempted to get a Mac studio, <laughs> but, but I'm waiting because I know the M threes are coming out. The Mac Studio M3s are going to come out pretty soon. And that will, at the very least, drive the prices down on the M2 Mac Studios, which is certainly more than sufficient for what I need since the M1 Mac Mini is also sufficiently more than I need. And yes, I don't really need one, but it's one of those things where it's like, I want one. So if I can, I will get one. And so that's I keep going over to the Apple Store and going through the refurb section, going, yeah, that that's got uh, that's got a two terabyte well, uh, drive and one. Yeah. Ter it's like, it's like yeah. no, don't do it, guy, you idiot. I keep going over to the refurb store because you know our our reduction in iPhone process that goes down to down to um you know goes down to my daughter, down to Mrs. Gaz, then down to my dad. Well, actually, we're skipping one of those sections because. Um, Mrs. Gaz doesn't like the size of the phones since we I've increased the size of the phone from the iPhone 10. So that was the last that was the the last phone or the first phone after increasing the size from the 4.7 or 5 yeah, or wife, whatever it was. Still on an SE2. She loves so it. she's yeah well so so I was looking at um um, it's a touchdown. I won't say who. Um, <laughs> um, no, go so ahead. I, go ahead. So, I, so I went over to the refurb store. Now, I'll, I'll give you the score in a minute. Um, I went over to the refurb store and saw... Put it in they, chat. They, they, <laughs> they, uh, I will do, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, so, okay. We, we, don't want, we don't want to spoil the game for people <laughs> who are listening to this long after the game is over. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'll just I'll just tell you what that makes the score at the moment. Then, uh, and oh no, have they added that on? Uh, yes, they must have. No, they haven't. Now they have. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, so I keep going, I keep going, <laughs> sorry, folks. I keep going. Oh, the, we love doing uh, this show. 
to the, really the refurb store and I've been looking at the iPhone 12 mini. So oh, what's happened great. is my phone's gone down to my daughter. That phone is going now to my dad. So my dad's actually going to get quite a big upgrade from where he was previously. And he's got bigger hands and he, they were over last night and he went, Oh yeah, that's I quite like that. He said, yeah. So, so he's quite happy with this. It's not a max, but he's, it's bigger than what he's got at the moment. Sure. And and Mrs. Gaz keeps saying, I don't need a phone. I don't need a phone. But I know that she'd like a better camera at least because she's on an eight, I think. She's on um, an eight? Has, yes. has the battery yes. been replaced in it at least? No. No, oh but it God. needs to be. No, it needs to be. <laughs> I wouldn't even um, bother with an eight. Um, but So I'm thinking of getting a refurb um, yeah. 12 mini for her because that's the last one which has got the – um the smaller size yeah, this, was, it, was there so there wasn't a 13 mini not that i'm aware of no 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 not that i'm aware of because i would have um i would have considered it and i don't think i did i mean there's a 6.1 no because i got no there isn't because i got the 6.1 inch which is the iphone 13 pro 6.1 I don't think there was a smaller version. No, the there, there was a there was an iPhone 13 mini. Oh, was there's there? There's none in the refurb store right now. Oh, that that means I might. And have there's to look no at, at least own. now. I'm talking about the the US refurb store. Yeah, there's yeah. also no iPhone 12 minis in the refurb store. Yeah, there's there's hundreds over here. Well, I say hundreds. That's a bit of an exaggeration. There are a lot. Many, many. There are many mini. Many, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to go there. I don't care. I don't care that this, this, this show's just gone into complete. So off the rails. Uh, I, 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 iPhone 12 mini. Oh no, I see. Yeah. There is a 30 iPhone 13 mini. So that is the 5.7 inch. No, there's none available. But if I put iPhone 12 in mini, Oh, there's a lot less. Oh, I tell you what, they're going, they're going by hot bananas. I best get in quick because yesterday there was three pages of them. Now there's less than a page. Yeah, well, wow. when we get done with the show, go ahead and grab one. Yeah, I might have to. I might have to. Anyway, um, so I well, I might, I might see if I can get a thirteen mini four. I didn't realize that the um, that the, the yeah, small I was trying size to remember because I know that there was not a fourteen mini. They never made the. They never made a mini for the fourteen. No, I you're right. I think you're like right. I think one. you're right. But it's like five point seven inches or something, isn't it? It's not the. Uh, so, rather than the six point one, because it's six point yeah. one, six point. Well, it's bigger than the SE. Yeah, but yeah, uh, smaller than the regular. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So, well, I we bet. should probably. Well, well, there's another thing about the refurb store because okay, there, there was some out. Now I'm seeing longest show um, ever. Home pod, no, it won't be. Uh, Home pod <laughs> two refurbs now, and they're about oh, really? fifty dollars. Yeah, in the UK store, there's some Home pod twos there. So, or there was, whether they're still there. Um, again, that's you know because the, they they are a fluxing item, um, and I I seriously thought about grabbing one of those and 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 trying out as my um, my TV. Uh, speaker yeah it's still there refurbished home pod second gen 50 pounds off in the uk mm. yeah yeah 50 bucks off here too and those are the big ones we're not talking about the minis yeah yeah, yeah. it's the big one not the small not the minis not the home pod minis yeah that's that's not bad cool anyway we've probably spoken for too long so it's should we... been like uh 40 minutes or so yeah <laughs> For Can't the beginning of the show. For the beginning of the show. <laughs> Shall I go over to some snippets? My God, yes. There we go. Sweet. Transition time. Transition time. A Michigan woman. Michigan? Michigan. 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 A Michigan woman. See, now you're going like, to piss off Tim. You talk like that. Michigan. A Michi. A Michigan woman. A Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> sorry tim we're just kidding yeah, yeah we are um has been pulled from an outhouse toilet after climbing in for an apple watch i'm gonna leave it there and i'm not gonna go into any details because that woman went into far too many details i can't say you know sometimes it's just not 
worth it. Let it go. It's like Apple Watch is now in a toilet. And not just my toilet, everyone's toilet. No, no. Refurb store is your friend. Um, Apple has withdrawn an app created by Andrew Tate after accusations that it, that it encouraged misogyny and could be an illegal pyramid scheme. Well done. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much. Apparently, yeah. Apple are now going, yes, UK, we support more than 550,000 jobs across the UK. I wonder if they're being attacked and they're just trying to defend themselves. It's, there you go. 550,000 what? Jobs. Oh, jobs. Okay. Jobs, yeah. Not Steve Jobs, just jobs. So a judge back. a judge has ordered Apple to um to face Apple Pay antitrust lawsuit. A US judge on Wednesday, so this could be a couple of weeks ago. Uh, 28th of September, yes, a couple of weeks ago, ordered Apple to face a private antitrust lawsuit by payment card issuers accusing the company of thwarting competition for its Apple Pay mobile wallet. Haven't seen any more updates on that. That makes absolutely no sense. Said, well, there you go. We'll, you can you know, put pe- any card that you want to use for Apple Pay. Any card. U.S. District Judge Jeffrey White said the plaintiffs could try to prove that Apple violated the federal Sherman antitrust law by enforcing a 100% monopoly over the domestic market for tap and pay wallets for iPhones, iPads, and um, and watches. Nope. Um, he, the important thing there was U.S. District Judge Jeffrey White said the plaintiffs could try to prove yeah, that luck. Apple. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the, uh, the French talk, authorities talk to, uh, talk to Timmy over there at Epic. Okay. Let, yeah. Let, let, <laughs> yeah. Hang on a minute. See how that Hang went. A Hang on a minute. Yes, Timmy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the French authorities approve Apple's iPhone 12 Please. software update. Do you remember this? Wait, iPhone 12 software update? Yes. Don't you remember this? This was the ra- radiation thing, wasn't it? French authorities said on Friday, and again, this is a couple of weeks ago, said that they'll approve Apple's software update of its iPhone 12 after after a row over radiation levels of the device, which led to France suspending sales of the phones earlier this month. I remember doing that story earlier in the month, and actually a few other countries were then going, ooh, we might be concerned, we might be concerned. And yeah, Apple have done a software money. update, which has helped radiation levels. Yeah, because that makes total sense. <laughs> Did you hear about this a hidden barcode in the iPhone screens has possibly saved Apple hundreds of millions of dollars? Did you no. hear about this? No, I did not. So apparently they've got a little um, barcode or or possibly a um, a QR code. I think it might be. I'm not sure if it's a barcode or QR code. And the new manufacturer of them, um, um, I think we think Apple have put it in because, um, no, it's actually, they've got two QR codes and they're tiny. They're absolutely tiny, but it helps with the manufacturing process in terms of um, rejection rates and proving that those screens have or have not actually been uh, rejected. Um, And the fact is that these codes get put onto the screens and then when the manufacturer rejects them, they then have to prove it by obviously producing these QR codes and identifying where it was in the process, et cetera, et cetera. So okay. that, that's a Tim Cookie thing, that is, I think. Um, this could be something that I get really excited about, or it could just be another, okay, are they or aren't they? Apple considers a huge bid for glo- global Formula One streaming rights. Oh, yeah, I heard about this. Now they they they've apparently offered around two billion per year for the worldwide rights. Now Formula One doesn't kind of do this; it's got lots of rights locally, and Sky in the UK has had the rights for some time now. And I can imagine that they would get really really upset if they're going to lose yeah. it. But but. But we shall we shall see whether this comes to fruition. If they do get it, I think I'd still have to pay an extra to get it. I don't think it'd be it by be like the is it the MLS? Yeah, 
that they've got at the moment. I think. Do you they're have to pay something. extra? Yeah, I think. Do you have to pay yeah, an extra, there's extra a, subscription? There's a slight, for that? there's a slight subscription fee for that, <clears> but it, it's negligible. Kind yeah, of like but so we'll we'll see what we'll see payment. whether. I mean, the the amount of data that goes through and what Apple could possibly do with uh, with uh, uh, Formula One could be really great. But we'll see. Let's just wait, hey, wait and see. Whether before before you go on with this, yeah, this is this drives me crazy. Apple is trying to get into sports, and I understand yep. why because it's it's a constantly revolving amount of content that they can use. Right now, there's a merger going on between the XFL and the USFL, which are the two American football leagues that play in the spring. Buy them. They could buy them for probably $500 million. Both leagues outright not have to spend another dime a year on streaming rights and come out and have their own freaking football league. I mean, they won't. look at, they won't look at the state, the game that you're watching right now. Do yep. you see any empty seats in those stands? No. No, they're filled up no. because yep. for whatever reason, well, American you, to be fair, that can I can I just say though? Popular. Well, no, no, can I can I yeah, okay. So let's let's be clear here. Okay. There are only three games that happen in London a year, and it is very yes. popular over here. So there's that's three opportunities for people. So those these stadiums are always going to be filled. I yeah, have watched. I think there's two in Germany this year. I have, yeah, also. yeah. I have watched lots of um, another score. I'll let you know in a minute. Um, <laughs> uh, there, there have been. I have watched a lot of the highlights of some football games in the US, and I have seen partially empty stadiums. So um, the thing is, I I think they just the thing with Formula One is it makes it it's just global. It just puts them on a global stage so much easier. Yeah. And I think that's that's possibly what, you know, they'd like about that. So we shall see. We shall see. Okay. Um, Dutch regulators um, have rejected Apple's objections to the Apple Store fines. Hang on a minute. Dutch regulator rejects Apple's objections. Oh, good grief. <laughs> objections to the App Store fines. So the Dutch competition watchdog ACM... Um, a week or so ago, said that it had rejected objections made by Apple to fines of 50 million euros, $53 million. It levered over a failure to comply with orders to limit the dominant position of Apple's App Store. That's probably going to be ongoing. Okay, and I just looked at the score, so you don't have to tell me. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> a, Rus a, a Russian court, yes, Russia does still exist, folks. What? Boo. Boo. Who? Boo, Russia. Um, a Russian court They're has Putin rejected. They're Putin on the Ritz. <laughs> Russian court. How many times do you want me to say Russia? I don't Russian, know. Just, just till I get tired of hearing it, I guess. Russian court rejects Apple's appeal over App Store antitrust charge. A Russian court has rejected Apple's appeal against the alleged abuse of its dominant market position in terms of in-app payments, for which it was fined 1.2 billion rubles. So... Six dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, <laughs> twelve million dollars back in January. So that was back in January. I remember reporting on that as well. Anyway, it's been rejected. So Apple have spent um probably twelve million dollars in legal costs to save or not save twelve million dollars. In this case, they probably thought, ah, we'll go for it. Sure. Um, apparently, the Apple Watch Series 9 double tap feature is now available in the uh, Watch OS 10.1 beta. I, we don't like betas, so try it at your risk because obviously it's yeah. coming later, I think, isn't it? When 10.1 comes. We're not on 10.1 yet, are we? We're not, no. I don't think so. Um, Apple's iPhone 15 Pro supply has begun to catch up with demand. So, those people. Um, Who are you calling those people? Storm Gorelli, Storm Gorelli, <laughs> who have bought, who per, who tried to purchase, Sorry. tried to purchase multiple iPhones rather than pre-ordering and getting all the you know, the car. By the way, I did all that, you know. I did a pre-order and I got pre-authorization on the loan. All went through fine, and then I, you know, yeah. about half an hour after the store came up, I just casually ordered it, and it came on the Friday. Lesson there. I'm going to get so much abuse for saying that. Anyway, Apple's iPhone 15 Pro supply has begun to catch up with demand. 
Original Apple Watch, including uh, the $17,000 gold model, apparently is no longer eligible for repairing, Guy. It's been <laughs> nine God. years since, yeah, nine years. It's no, gold you, watch yeah. that you can't get repaired. <laughs> I, I mean, if it's still working, you don't need it repairing. But if it's broken and you want it repaired, You're yeah, screwed. good luck. Good yeah. luck. So I, I've got a feeling that there's a business there in the waiting. Small and niche, but a business. Yeah. Well, it, it's so crazy. Why would you buy a gold version of an electronic item that you know is going to go out of date? Why? Why would you do that? Just to say that you had one? I think I think the term sense and money comes into it. Well, or there's a huge gap between those two, Gaz. Yes, correct, correct. Apparently, some iPhone 15 users have been complaining about crackling sound with the built-in speakers on the iPhone 15. I haven't, but I don't tend to play music or sounds through the, through speakers, the speakers, yeah, on the phone. So, what 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 monster does that? I, I don't know. <laughs> Gruffalo, the Gruffalo. Yeah, Gruffalos. Apparently, Apple CEO Tim Cook has netted $41 million in Apple stock sale. Yeah, well, you know, oh, he gets okay. this. Is, and this is the same with most companies, folks. What happens yeah. is high-end earners within the organization get given a load of um, stock, but they can't always sell that stock straight away. They have to be there for a certain period. But obviously, if they're there for a long time and they keep gaining the stock, they then get into a position where they can then suddenly sell a load of stock and they can make that money i think that's probably how steve yeah. jobs earned his money to be honest with you listen um, he needed to fill the car with gas had to go get some groceries he and didn't yeah, have and, any choice. and you know just how much gas costs at the moment yes ios uh 17.0.3 has fixed a security breach that had been actively exploited more on that here Oh, I didn't want to click on that. I didn't want to click on that. Let me just get rid of that. iOS 17.0.3 release to fix the overheating iPhone problem. So there's two different things there that you're yeah. saying it's done. I heard it was kind of related to Instagram. Does I've got a story for you. Does okay. okay. 17.0.3. No, no, it's fine because it's my story. Does iOS um, 17.0.3 slow down the iPhone uh, Pro to prevent overheating? iOS 17.0.3 tests do not show any impact to iPhone performance. Now, I actually had this. I had, um, um, I actually had, because the iOS 17.0.3, I think, did fix a few bugs, but also some enterprise related bugs, I believe. Yeah. But I actually had this with my phone. So when it first index and i think most phones do this so when you get a new phone very often it'll sit there and if you left it in charging it can get very hot and the battery usage will go down quite quickly because it's doing an awful lot of work of indexing all of the stuff that you've just transferred over it so it can give you as quick responses as the original phone that you would have had or done. at least try or at least try and that i i got that where the phone got really really hot but after that no issues until early doors. I opened Instagram and I had Instagram open. I was just scrolling through, looking at some stuff because I don't go into Instagram that often, but I do occasionally post in there and I do occasionally then go in and just scroll through. And I was in the, 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 the app for a while and my phone started getting really hot. What's going on there? Just went out of the app through natural usage. I didn't think I didn't link you, the usage of the app with the overheating and obviously the heating went away. So yeah. 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 Well, I did the same thing and the fans came on, on my phone. I couldn't believe it. Never seen it before. <laughs> Were they all waving? Yeah. Yeah. They're like, yay, phones. Were they, yeah. <laughs> Were, they all asking for, Were they all asking for an autograph? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Porsche has explained why it's going all in on CarPlay. Unlike. They're not stupid. Unlike GM and others, I'll just leave Who that are stupid. there. Downgrading from an iPhone, um, downgrading an iPhone from iOS 17 to iOS 16 is no longer possible. I always like to just mention that to people sure. just in case they wanted 
to do such a thing. Apple have Don't considered make Apple apparently considered making DuckDuckGo the default search engine in Safari private browsing mode. Back in 2018, this was guy. <laughs> that story's just just come to the fore. Just, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, if Thanks. it wasn't for that billion dollars that Google gives them every year. New score. New score. Um, and fairly recently, I think on the 5th of October, Steve Jobs had passed away 12 years ago. I know. We love you, Steve. It's such a shame. Such Still a miss shame. you. Still miss you. And it's... is driving us crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Band of Brothers sequel, Masters of the Air, is premiering on uh, in January on Apple TV+. Plus. Quite looking forward to seeing that, actually. I think that might be quite, but the original, quite good. The original series was really good. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. When I saw that, I thought, I'll just mention that because I don't normally mention the TV stuff. Um, so, yeah. Another security update. Apple, you're really keeping up with your tech rivals. Yeah, there have been a number of updates recently, Apple. So, hey, at least everybody gets them direct from source, unlike some operating systems. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a story for a Gazi's link. I'm going to do that in a second. Um, the French app developers drop oh. US Apple anti Trust lawsuit. A group of French app developers that accused Apple of overcharging them to participate in its app store have dropped their lawsuit in the US. A federal court, after a judge last month, gutted the case. So mm, there you go. South Korea has warned Apple of possible fines over app store fees. <laughs> Just they are used. It's like we're struggling for cash. What can we do? Oh, a few countries have fined Apple over their App Store fees. Let's do the same. Yeah, let's do that too. Let's do that too. And that, guy, that is the end of Gazzy Snippets. Okay. I do have a Gazzy's link, though. Gazzy's link, it goes back to something that I used to complain about on a regular basis. Um, Sony has confirmed a data breach. interrupting you. <laughs> like there. Sony has yeah, like there. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sony has confirmed a data breach affecting nearly 7,000 employees. Look, folks, right, companies, I don't care who you are, this is our data. You have got to take much more care of it. Wasn't it Sony that got hacked some time ago as well from all of their they've movie all, stars? They've all, and all their <laughs> they've all gotten hacked. Other than, I don't think Apple has. Ooh, Not in that same that way. Yeah, not in that same way. Anyway, that's the end of Gazzy's link. <laughs> okay, we have. This is going to be a real, real short section here. Um, I hope <laughs> <laughs> we're running. We're running just a bit long, but it has been a while. So it's been think a while. of it as not being one Bonus. long show, but yes, two shows slammed together. Into yes. One. All right. It's a slam dunk. It's a slam dunk. So I had originally titled this when we were going to do this like two weeks ago, how to get ready for Mac OS Sonoma, but it's, it's already out, but we're still going to talk about some of the points that I've got here. Uh, number one, do you actually need to run it? And Gaz, I think we've gotten so used to the majority of smooth OS installations and yeah. generally they have been that this doesn't get asked nearly often enough. Patience is a virtue. And quite frankly, you're better off waiting until the inevitable 0.1 release, which is usually going to be a week or a month down the line. Now, I wish I could say that I had done that with my <laughs> laptop, but I was running the beta, the, the Sonoma beta on my laptop, and suddenly found to absolutely no surprise whatsoever that none of my audio apps were working. <laughs> Big surprise. Um, never, never expect audio devices to work on a beta guy. You yeah. should know that. I should. I should, Gaz. And speaking of that, will all of your needed software work with it? Huh? So glad we went into that. 
as a longtime user of various audio and video recording software, nothing feels worse, Gaz, than updating and finding out that all of the software that you rely on to do stuff isn't ready with the latest version of the operating system. Worst of all, the developers will most likely tell you that their software isn't ready yet because some system level doohickey it needs either uh, isn't in the latest version or Apple has updated it, making the old one dead. If something you really, really, really need to use won't work with the latest version, don't update until it does. <laughs> okay. I, I have to say these things because I ignore my own advice. Now, number three, will the hardware you own run it well? It makes no sense. If, if you're still on an Intel Mac, you should probably save whatever version of the OS, not necessarily that it came with, but maybe the one just after it. Keep that as pristine as possible because that's going to work best. You know, basically whatever OS you were using before the M series chips came out, stay on that because that's going to work best for your Intel hardware uh, because it makes no sense to update if your hardware won't run it or even run it well. And on the Mac side, if you're still using in Intel processors, you should probably stay on Ventura. Now, number four, do you have at least two full backups yes two backups preferably one being off-site though that can be expensive uh, i use backblaze for my off-site complete backup as well as icloud for data for local backups i recommend either carbon copy cloner or super duper which both of which have been updated for uh sonoma now remember that with icloud you're not backing up everything. You're backing up your data. So if there is something that you have done in the background, that most likely will not be backed up. So look into, so if, you, if you do a lot of weird things or if you have a lot, a lot of uh, data that you need to have back up, I've got an eight terabyte drive gas just for my video backups. And Backblaze does not charge. They charge by the computer, not by how much data that you're storing. And that has saved my ass on more than one occasion. And lastly, with backups handy for the worst case scenario, if your hardware can run it and your critical software is updated for it, then yes, go ahead and do that update. However, don't blame us if it all goes to hell. <laughs> would you agree with that, Gaz? I think I probably would. I see some head nodding. Hit it. Gaz's tips. Mostly. Gaz's tips. Mostly. Gaz's tips. It's time for Gaz's tip. I've got my eye on you, Gaz. You have. Now, I can't remember whether this happened at the previous. <laughs> That's an odd way to start. Well, I can't remember whether this happened in the previous OS, to be perfectly oh, honest okay. with you. In, in, it was in uh, Ventura. Um, I don't remember it happening, but what started to happen since I've gone into Son Sonoma is, for some reason, sometimes I click away from the window that I'm in or the application mm -hmm. that I'm in on the desktop, or I want to click towards the desktop. And what happens at the moment oh. is everything disappears. Yeah. And you click it again and it comes back. Now, there are really good reasons for that to happen and they've set it up. However, it's a pain in the backside if you don't want it to happen. So here's my tip. If you don't want that to happen, go into system settings, um, go to desktop uh, and dock, um, and then scroll down to find click um, the wallpaper to real, real reveal the desktop option. 
and set this. So basically there's an option that says click wallpaper to reveal desktop option. Set that to only in stage manager. And if you don't want to use stage manager, which I do not, you can turn off stage manager as well. But I think you need to do that um, to stop this action happening. So you go into system settings, go to desktop. That's uh, absolutely right. Um, and then you can see, is it desktop? Yeah, desktop and dock. And then you have to scroll down into it's right under. Yeah, the yes, only so that it says um, desktop and stage manager. It says show items on desktop. I've left checked. Click wallpaper to reveal desktop only in stage manager. And then below that, I've clicked stage manager as off. And then you can click to your heart's content, which I'm doing at the moment on my desktop. And all of my apps stay exactly where they are. That's wonderful. I'm nodding my head. Yes. Hit it. That's the end of Gaz's tips. That's Most the end of Gaz's tips. That's Most the end of Gaz's tips. Okay, is that the, uh, the end of the tip? Will you let me finish? Gaz's tips. Gaz, you are absolutely right. <laughs> There we go. Whoops. Stop it. Don't do it again. It again. <laughs> I clicked it again. How dare I? How dare I do that? Uh, real, real quick. Uh, with all of the, the terrible things going on in the world, please, please, please remember to give not only to the Ukrainian Red Cross, but to the Red Cross in general uh, with other things that are happening right now in the world, which we're not going to go into, as well as Doctors Without Borders. These are two excellent organizations to give any spare coins or dollars or shekels or whatever your money is from where you live. And uh, we support them wholeheartedly. Um, I have a for pick sake apparently, but I don't know what it is. So I'm going to have to click <laughs> on it to find out. Yeah. I think that's a previous one guy. I think that's is a it? previous one. I'll tell one you in just it, a second. Cause it's my previous. Yes, it is. Um, yes. Yeah. It's that clamp flash thing. Yes. Yes, because okay. mine was still so in I there don't, from previous. So. I don't have a, I don't have a uh, pick. No, neither do I. All right. Well, then we are going to move on to something else. We have some email feedback this week, Gaz. And I'm not Excellent. sure I understand it, but okay. I'm, I'm going to talk about it. Okay. And it's from Dan Murphy. I got an email from him. Hi, Dan. Saying, yeah. Hi, Dan. He hi. said, yeah, I don't really have a question, but I thought I'd just say hi. Hi. And I did, Hi. and he also says this is the part that makes me go, huh? <laughs> I don't really get how those people from England, etc., can do those damn faked accents all of the time. Don't they get tired of doing it? To which I that, say, that, yeah, Dan, they did that, not. They love their Dan, fake that accents. That is a great. That is a great question, and it takes years of practice. Because when, as soon as I turn the Just podcast the off, show. I start talking like that all the time. <laughs> He does it just for this show. I do it ju just for this show. Just for this show. And no, oh. I don't get tired doing it because actually I think uh, a proper smart English accent is just super to do. Super. It's... I love it. And the, the part that cracks me up is you are now doing a fake accent a fake English accent as someone from England. And that cracks me up. I don't know why. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> and we have weird. some audio. We have some audio. Oh, oh I also, I sent him, I sent him a Woody. Oh yeah. Cause I, I was going to say, if you sent him a Woody, cause I don't remember I um, hearing from I Dan did. before. So hi Dan, let us contact us again and just tell us how long you've been listening. Probably yeah, just we would the love, one we show. We would love to know. Probably just the one show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, well, I listened to the one show and then you guys were gone. We thought, I thought maybe yeah. you'd pod faded or something. <laughs> All right, we have a couple here from our, our good friend NC Greg. So let's get into hey, that. Hey, guy. Hey, guys. It's Hi, Greg, Greg. From North Carolina, the third G man. Um, <laughs> you mentioned yes. contact lenses on your most recent episode, and it brought to mind uh, this story that I experienced this week. I'm going through basic training at my job, and part of that is we need to get pepper sprayed. And they Yay. told us several times that if you're wearing contact lenses, when you get pepper sprayed, you get to go to the hospital and have your contact lenses removed 
surgically because the pepper spray can get under the contact lens, and if you try to remove it non-surgically, it's likely to bring part of the cornea along with it. Huh. Fun, fun, fun. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you that story, there to let you know that it's <laughs> Thanks, Greg. the host of this podcast that can go off on tangent stories, but sometimes the listenership, too. Sure. Why not? Wow. And we all wow. have problems with our eyes, apparently. Yes. Um, here's, here's another one from Greg. Hey, guy. Hey, guys. It's Hi, Greg. Greg. North Carolina. Pause it. Pause it. Straight. Pause it. Right. I think Greg's now going to say, sorry, guy and Gaz, that eye pepper spray thing was for another podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody else that, that he calls on a regular basis yeah. that we're yeah. jealous of. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. It's Greg Hi, Greg. North Carolina. Let it's Greg. Straight. The one time that I called the Google Voice number instead well, of the Skype number, yeah. you didn't check it, and it got two weeks before the message was played. In spite of this, it's the Skype number you're going to get rid of and not the Google Voice number? Jeez, what a way to run a railroad. <laughs> sure. Can I say, Greg, can I say, Greg, I have nothing to do with those Google or <laughs> Skype numbers. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of been my my nightmare. <laughs> uh, but the weird thing, you know, part that's, part of the other reason why part pie, of the other reason why I'm getting rid of the the Skype number is Microsoft is making it harder and harder to use it freely. So it's it's kind of like it do I really want to spend a lot of money on something that we, we don't really use that much? And the answer is no. So the answer, the answer, according to Mr. Steve in the wind. Jobs is no. Exactly. So eventually we will get rid of the Skype number and we will just go with the Google voice number. And also there is one more from, uh, from Dr. Dream. Do you know who he is? Yes, I do. Okay, well, here, here's what he had to say. This is Dr. Dream in Boise calling on my 15 Pro Max. Nice. Did Guy actually not talk about microphones on the last episode? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. You know, and oddly enough, Gaz, and this will come as a shock to many people, I have not even looked at microphones in like a month and a half. Two months. It, it and may I keep shock. you this same one. You, it may shock a lot of people. It astounds me. I bet it does. <laughs> I have I have actually been using the same audio setup now for like what two, three months? Right. Without change. That's that frightens me in, in some ways. Yeah. It really does. It, but anyway. Please, it pleases me. <laughs> I bet it does. It's like <laughs> Okay, so let's see. We're going to record for an hour, but I need to give Guy about 45 minutes so that he can figure out how to use his latest audio setup that he didn't have to change, but did anyway. <laughs> I, and that's exactly how he says it. How do you how do you read my mind so clearly? It's, it's it. Well, you know, after, what, 14 years? After 14 <laughs> years, it, it becomes painfully obvious when you just sit there and go like... <sighs> Okay. No, yeah. I can't hear you. No, I, no, I still you. can't hear you. No, no, what? I'm still no, what? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> and that is exactly how it is, folks. It is. Exactly it kind of is. is. <laughs> and I think they go, damn it, the loop back and, and audio hijack <laughs> and, and this audio interface that I didn't even test before I got on with Gaz. <laughs> If you would do what Dr. Dream and and our regular uh, Greg from North Carolina do, which is contact us either through email or through Skype numbers or through smoke signals or however it is that you want to get a hold of us, you too can get something wonderful that um, Dan got, which is a Wooty. And Gaz, did you know that a Wooty is a big W, big O, big O, big T, little I, little E, exclamation mark? That spells Wooty? I, I did, actually, yeah. You did? Well, uh, that, did. we yeah. talked about it, I think, in the past. So, yeah, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, But that's how you can do something 
fabulous. Do something fabulous for the show and you will get something fabulous in return that will change your life for the better. And not many podcasts can say that. As actually, this one can't either, but we can pretend. <laughs> now, if you'd like to help support the show, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. You can go to oh, 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 oh. coffee. Ah, ah. I'm on the wrong side of the ah. FI.com forward slash Mac Parrot. Or ah. you can pay a pal at paypal.me forward slash Mac Parrot. And ah. we would be essentially and eternally, not essentially, but eternally grateful for you to do so. Now, guess, what? guess, what? if people wanted to get a hold of you and say, for the love of God, don't take three weeks off and expect us to return, how would they do so? Ever so easy. Send an email to gaz at mymac.com. That's G-A-Z at mymac.com. Or I'm still on the on the X's Twitter, X, Twitter, Twitter, X, 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 yeah. Twitter, Twitter, Twix, Twitex. Twix. That's what I'm going to call it. Twix. 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 Yeah. Let's call it Twix, Twix from now. Yeah. Um, and you can find me there as uh, Twix <laughs> forward slash Gazmaz. G-A-Z. Gars. M-A-Z. Gars. <laughs> can, I'm also on Mastodon. Don't um, go to Twix.com. As a matter of fact, yeah. no, let's, let's get that out right now. Let's get that out right now. No, I, try I am it. really, try really, see. really not going to recommend that you go to <laughs> Twix.com because I have no idea where that's going to lead. You don't want to do that, folks. Um, I'm also on Mastodon and Counter Social as Gazmaz. Uh, on, count, on Mastodon, it's Gazmaz at C.I.M.G.A.Z.M.A.Z. You can Cars, also Cars. contact on Twix. Don't go to twix.com, um, but Twitch. it's twitter.com, uh, or is it x.com? I don't know, but it's Sky and Gaz, G-Y-A-N-D-G-A-Z. Also, you can also, well, finish the Z cars now because there's no more Zs. You can also send an email to feedback, F-W-E-D-B-A-C-K, at mymac.com. His name was Guy. Uh-oh. Guy. 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 Have a good one, guy. I don't know who this guy is. Any guy. I think guy's like a symbol. So, guy. Who are you, really? Guy. I'm here with guy. The guy. My guy? Just who is this guy? Who is this guy? Look at this guy. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Guy? My name is Guy. Guy? Get out of my brain hole. <laughs> brain hole. Guy. Guy? Uh, where am I? Here he is. He's the guy. Guy's the one. Pay no attention to that guy behind the curtain. I'm doing a guy was paid at 75 grand. No, I wasn't. You know it was a guy? I like to go with guy. Guy says... Wait, hold on. Hold on. I screwed up. No fool on. If you want... An email from Guy. How would they do it? Oh, you would go and send that in the email client of your choice and the email address would be guy 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 i know it's crazy right it's crazy At my mac.com you can also find me not on twix but on twitter or x which is now x um as uh <laughs> mac parrot and or hang on ah! oh, <laughs> virtual was there Oh, oh. And I am also on, I, I am Mac Parrot on Counter Social. Ah! And you can find me over at Mastodon at mastodon.social as Mac Parrot. Ah! And we have probably only for a few more episodes a Skype telephone number, Gaz, which Jewish. is 703 436 But make sure you hit the one or plus one first. That number again is one or plus one seven L zero three four three six nine five zero one. Or if Microsoft and Skype just make you want to eat American chocolate, and we all know what that smells like, then just go right to that application and dial seven zero three four three six nine five oh one. But that is not the only number that you can get a hold of us with. Isn't that right, Gas? It is absolutely correct. I'm going to do, here we go, BBC, um, BBC Voice. Posh. You can call Google Voice number 
703-828-4677. I'll say that just one more time. Google Voice number 703-828-4677. And good night. And if it's their first time calling, what will they get in return? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, they'll get a wooty, which is wonderful. Now, <laughs> I would like to say, <laughs> moving on. Thank you, thank you, thank you for downloading and listening. Yes, the love of God, listen to the my Mac so delayed dot com podcast. We really, really do appreciate the fact that you download and listen. And Gaz, I think that we're good enough. Yeah. As yeah. always. I mean, once we always. actually get together and, and start to talk, yeah. uh, I yeah. think we're smart enough when we can figure out how to get together and talk. And that dog gone it. Woof. Woof, 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 Can't find him, but he's there. I woof, swear woof, to God woof. he's there. Woofy, woof, woof. People like us. What do you call a belt made of watches, Guy? <laughs> I don't know. It's a waste of time. <sighs> End. Go home.